Imagine you want to meet your friend for dinner and they suggest a restaurant you've never been to before. You agree to try it out and as you walk through the door, you suddenly get an overwhelming feeling of familiarity, like you've been here before. But logically, you know you have never visited this place and yet for a brief moment in time, your brain tells you the exact opposite. You're having a deja vu. It's French and means already seen. And it's such a widespread phenomenon that according to some estimates, up to 90% of people experience it at least once in their lifetime. And many of us even multiple times. It's just as universal as it's common. I found a study that suggests that blind people also experience this false familiarity. And I also found out that there is an opposite feeling as well. There are a lot of different theories as to why déjà vu happens, including some spiritual explanations. But I'm only going to cover scientific research in this video. Even to this day, déjà vu still seems to break science. Because of its unpredictable nature, it is really hard to provoke that feeling in a research setting. But despite that, there were some successful attempts which we're going to look at. It is widely agreed that the feeling of déjà vu has something to do with our brains. When we are tired or stressed, this false sense of familiarity tends to happen more often. Medications that interfere with our dopamine levels also increase the likelihood of déjà vu. One thing we know for sure is that it becomes less frequent the older we get. Scientists believe this might be the result of our brains making less and less fact-checking of memories as we age and just accepting input as is. Many researchers say déjà vu is a memory phenomenon and we might be onto something. In one study, researchers hypnotized the participants and instilled a new memory into their brain by playing a game or looking at a word inside a red frame. At the end of hypnosis, one group was told to forget the memory and the other was told to get a sense of familiarity whenever they see a word in a red frame. Later, 10 out of the 18 studied people said they definitely felt déjà vu when they saw new words presented to them in a red frame. Another theory is that people might experience this feeling when they see a scene where objects are aligned similarly to a previously encountered scene, but the brain fails to recall the past event. This hypothesis was tested with the help of virtual reality. The participants had to navigate different scenes and some of them were designed to have the same spatial layout. For example, a bedroom was later presented as a clothing store. The placement of walls, windows and furniture was the same, but the bed was replaced with a pile of clothes. The reported déjà vus were higher in scenes where the layouts matched one another. There is a different study that suggests that déjà vu might just be our brain correcting memories. They triggered this feeling in the participants and used fMRI to scan their brain activity. It was expected that the region responsible for memory retrieval would be active, but that was not the case. Instead, the region that resolves conflict between what we remember experiencing and what we actually experienced was active. This function of our brain declines as we get older, which might be an explanation why déjà vu becomes less frequent as we age. Some people experience it so often that it becomes disturbing. This might be due to substance abuse, migraines or mental health conditions. However, the most common cause is epilepsy. But we don't know why this happens because obviously the vast majority of people don't have epilepsy, so it can't be directly linked to this condition. As you can see, there are many different theories why we experience déjà vu, but there is no clear answer even with all the technology we have available. Now let's briefly look at the opposite feeling. It is called jamais vu and means never seen. This refers to a feeling you get when you know something is familiar, but it doesn't feel that way. Not to be confused with memory issues like amnesia, for example, because when you experience jamais vu, you are aware that it should feel familiar to you. This is not as common as déjà vu, but still many people experience it. Maybe you have too. Have you ever looked at a word too long or written it too many times and suddenly you start to question whether it's spelled correctly? In that moment, you experience jamais vu. Even though this feeling is much easier to recreate in a lab setting, we don't know the exact mechanisms behind it either. But there is ongoing research in both fields, so maybe we'll eventually get some answers. Have you experienced either of those feelings? Let me know in the comments and if you made it this far, you know how the rest goes. And here are some other videos you might find interesting.